always feel like I look like Totoro in this hoodie. Totoro, Totoro. Hey guys, it's Kian, and it's my 23rd birthday! Uh, well, not on the day that this is going up. My birthday is actually going to be on Tuesday. So today, in honor of my 23rd birthday, I'm going to be sharing with you 23 facts about me. I did one of these videos when I turned 21, and I thought I wanted to do it again this year. And I think I'm going to start doing it every year from my birthday. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see me do this every year from my birthday. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video for a very special announcement. So let's get started. First facts first that I want to get out of the way is that I don't actually need glasses. These have no prescription in them whatsoever and are purely a fashion choice. So like, sorry, but I like how I look in them. Number two, I've only traveled out of the country one time and it was to go to Japan. My brother's in the Air Force and he was stationed there. The trip was awesome and I really want to go back someday. I regularly attended a Christian youth group while I was in high school and a big influencer of that is the fact that there were cute guys there. I am not religious at all, just really gay. In fact, I once had my mom pay so that I could attend a Christian youth conference in Pennsylvania simply because one of the cute guys from my youth group was also attending and there was a chance that I could have shared a room with him. I didn't. Growing up, my brother, our neighbor Ben, and I all shot our own version of Star Wars Episode 7 called The Rising Jedis, all about all the past Jedis who had died in previous movies coming back from the dead as zombies. Not gonna lie, still a little bitter that Disney and Lucasfilm didn't go with our concept. Throughout elementary and middle school, I was actually in chorus and really enjoyed it. I was even offered a solo in our Christmas concert one year, but I turned it down because I was too shy. My brother and I once built a hotel for our toys out of a plastic shelving unit. It even had a working elevator. My cousin once convinced me that if he gave my Ariel doll a haircut, that her hair would grow back. It didn't. I have never been stung by a bee. I have never broken a bone. The It's a Small World ride at Walt Disney World gave me nightmares when I was a child. And I went back and wrote it recently, and honestly, I understand why. I don't drink coffee. I'm an incredibly picky eater. For years, I had my younger brother Nolan convinced that the movie Footloose was about a guy who had his foot amputated but had dreams of becoming a dancer. I have never seen Footloose. I've also never seen Grease. In middle school, I really loved Invader Zim, and when I found out it had been canceled, I started carrying around a petition and having other students sign it to get the show back on the air. I never actually submitted it, but hey, it's coming back as a TV movie, so you're welcome. I have never read Harry Potter. <gasps> I know, the horror, and I don't really have any plans to read it. I'm sorry. When I was little, I was playing in a neighbor's backyard, and we decided to go into the woods behind his house. And in the woods, we came across an abandoned school bus. Just as we were about to step onto it, we heard our moms calling for us and went back to the house. We never found out what was on that bus, but I always would have like dreams that it was like squid aliens or something. I don't know. I have this weird sixth sense where whenever I have a cut on my body, even if I don't immediately know about it, I'll get the taste of blood in my mouth. When I get that taste in my mouth, I'll immediately start checking my body and sure enough, I will find a cut. Pineapple doesn't go on pizza. That's it. That's not a fact about me. That's just a fact. And last but not least, the special announcement that I am going to tell you guys is that I now have a Patreon page. If you don't know what Patreon is, it is a website where fans can contribute to their favorite creators to help them create content that they love. And guys, I actually have like some really good ideas that I want to bring to this channel very, very soon, but they're not going to be easy to make happen for many reasons. And I hope you guys will consider contributing to the Patreon page. If you head over to patreon.com slash I'm just keen right now, the link will be down below. It'll give you a little more info there, but let me just sum it up really quick. On the page, you can contribute as little or as much money as you want. I've actually went ahead and set up three different tiers on the page, and each tier that you contribute to comes with different perks. The $5 tier comes with a video shout out, so contributing to this tier will get you a video shout out once the project is released. The $10 tier, which I like to call Tweet Hearts, if you contribute to this tier, you will not only get a video shout out, you will also get a follow back from me on Twitter. And last but not least, the biggest tier is the $20 tier. By contributing to this this tier, you will get the video shout out, the follow back from me on Twitter, as well as a secret gift mailed to you from me. For this tier, you will need to provide your shipping address at checkout, and it's actually only available for the first five people who contribute. So if you want to get on that $20 tier, I suggest you get to it. And guys, I promise that I will announce more when this project gets closer to being a real thing, but I'm really excited about it, and I think you guys are really gonna like it too. I think it's gonna be one of the best things I have ever done, so get excited. All right guys, so that is it for this 23 facts on my 23rd birthday video. As always, if you like it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for future videos, and check out all my social media links down in the description, including my new Patreon link. But now, I'm gonna go. Until next time, I'm just Kian, and I don't know about thee, but I'm feeling 23. It's just not the same. Okay, bye you guys.